we're the first agency that's on the ground with FEMA from day one, sometimes before right. day one. Right. And we're the ones that put capital in the hands of the disaster survivors first. It's just recently launched a business resilience guide that for businesses based on threat, right, whether you're susceptible to wildfires, floods, hurricanes, tornadoes, any of those right. things, what you can do operationally to be more, be more resilient as we do that homework for them, or what's something low interest, I mean, low capital right. that you can do right now to yep. again, uh, to what you can do that takes much more capital to do that, to, to that for businesses, right? Whether you're susceptible to wildfires, floods, hurricanes, tornadoes, any of those right. things, what you can do operationally to be more, be more resilient. Are you sensing a little bit more of an awareness that we need to make a pivot in how we do risk, and that is to get really ahead of it and make the investment there? We're now at all four phases of emergency management, preparedness, response, and recovery. Right. All at the same time. And rebuild. Back to back. And, and rebuild. And, and rebuild. Yeah. Uh, to give you just some real context about, about that, uh, in 2017, uh, we were averaging a billion dollar disaster about every 22 days, about every yeah. three weeks. Right. Uh, at the rate that we're going, even at a very conservative rate of the increasing number of disasters, I know a lot of people don't believe in climate change. We just take the numbers, the most right. conservative estimate of how many of how that continues to grow. Within the next five years, we'll be averaging a, pre a billion dollar disaster in this country about every week or just short of a week. Well, those resilience navigators right. can then do is say, hey, Richard, like there's an SBA program. Let me talk to you about what you can do. Right. A couple hundred dollars to, to, for the straps on your roof. This is what we can do for flood doors. These are the things we can do for wind. This is the things we can do for flooding. Um, and fire. And because fire. that's, yeah. I mean. All of those kinds of yeah. things that, that the community navigators can do, can, can, can help educate for those communities and what they can do to mitigate. And right. it's a local trust and local and trusted source. Yep. Uh, and the other thing is help people navigate through the complexity of some of these programs. Right. Your success is to not do this business anymore. Right. No, that, that, that's, uh, you know, when I was in Harris County, I said, you know, uh, I want to work myself out of a job and people right. are prepared for the disaster to come. Right. The, the, uh, I would like not to have to offer SBA loans. That's our goal. Right. Our, our goal is to do that less. Right. But we're doing that more. So we've got, we've got a, long, a, a long way to go. But there's a lot of opportunity here. What I'm really excited about the work that y'all are doing with the Resilience Hub is bringing insurance together.